Not every freshwater aquarium needs a burst of vibrant color. Sometimes you want something unusual as the centerpiece of your tank. And if you want a genuine conversation piece, you couldn't ask for better than the black ghost knife. Black ghost knife fish don't attract a ton of attention with their monochromatic color scheme. But when you start to dive into their biology, you find plenty of unique facts you can share with everyone that drops by for a visit. Why not discuss the lack of a dorsal or caudal fin? Black ghosts rely on their pectoral and anal fins to generate a fluid, wave-like motion, similar to that seen in a skate or ray. It's hypnotic to watch and allows them incredible maneuverability through the water. Or you could touch on the electrogenesis. Similar to the electric eel, black ghost knife fish can generate and receive electric signals to help them navigate through the murky waters of their native regions. And the same electric frequencies allow them to communicate with each other. Of course, as unique as black ghost knife fish are, they're also not for the faint of heart. These fish present challenges beyond the scope of the beginner aquarist. And if you're not ready to handle such a fish, you may want to admire the species from afar. You'll find the black ghost knife in Argentina, Brazil, Paraguay, and Venezuela. In particular, they frequent the river systems of the Paraguay and Parana. During the dry season, they stick to faster rivers and streams. But they head into the flooded forests during the rainy season. Those waters come complete with heavy vegetation. That means plenty of obstacles, and not much in the way of light. Of course, black ghosts are nocturnal. And they don't rely on the moon or stars filtering down through the greenery, anyway. They have a better system. The electricity generated allows for electrolocation, navigation via an electric field. It's how the species sees in the murky, plant-filled waters. But in the black ghost knife, the EOD plays another role. No, it can't stun their prey. The fish control the frequency of the signal. And this allows them to recognize and communicate with each other. Females produce a higher frequency than males. This allows potential mates to locate one another through the choked river systems. And in confrontations, the EOD can settle a potential conflict. A submissive fish will increase their frequency, avoiding attack. Black ghost knife name comes from the curved shape of their bodies. You see a distinct taper at the tail, made more evident by the lack of the dorsal fin. And with only a couple of white rings around the tail, you can pick out that slender, blade, shape. As to the, ghost, part? That relates to local mythology. Tribes in the area believe that, when someone passes on, their spirit transfers into and inhabits the body of one of these unusual fish. Add the two together, and you get a black ghost knife. Iridescent sharks, you often find juvenile black ghost knife fish for sale in the fish store. The little blades look innocuous enough. And who doesn't want an electric fish around? Unfortunately, many aquarists aren't prepared for the adult size of a black ghost knife. And a slow growth rate doesn't help. Black ghosts only grow 4 to 5 inches a year, for the first 5 years. Then they slow down. But the damage is usually done by that point. At full adult length, black ghost knife fish reach up to 20 inches. And you can't restrict them by housing them in a smaller tank. Slow growing or not, they're going to surpass most aquariums eventually, and end up with aggression issues. As you might guess, based on that slow growth rate, black ghost knife fish hang around. With proper care, you can expect to see your electrogenic fish survive for anywhere from 10 to 15 years. In general, black ghost knife fish want to mind their own business. They're relatively active fish that prefer to do their own thing and be left alone. They're used to swimming in and out of hiding places near the substrate looking for food. Anything else is extra stress they don't want to deal with. However, they have an aggressive side. This will pretty much only present itself when they're around other black ghost knife fish. But don't worry, it doesn't mean you can't keep two or more in the same tank. As long as these fish have enough space to call their own, it's unlikely that they'll be aggressive toward one another. It's just when two or more are crammed into close quarters that they can get pretty grumpy. Black ghost knife fish come from tropical regions of South America. As such, you want to keep the water temperature suitably warm. This means sticking as close to the 73 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit range as possible. In the wild, black ghosts swim in neutral, soft waters. So you want to keep your pH range between 6.5 to 8.0 and your hardness level down around 0 to 10 deci henries. 
That means you have plenty of opportunities to decorate a stunning tank. Starting from the bottom, you want to choose a soft substrate. Black ghosts feed along the bottom. And without scales to protect them, they can end up with scratches and cuts if you use larger gravels rather than sand. As to the remainder, these fish aren't particular about their decor. You'll want hiding places, but you can use anything from driftwood to rock structures to artificial caves. As long as you provide space large enough, your black ghost will stay happy. The same with plants. Black ghost knife fish are carnivores, so they won't sample the foliage. As long as you've done due diligence in providing enough room for your black ghost knife to navigate and explore in the first place, there's no reason you'd omit them from a community tank. Space is the biggest predictor of their aggression. And once that's sorted, they're fine. Of course, black ghost knife fish are predators. So when you start to plan your community, you want to look for fish of comparable size. And you should consider species with peaceful temperaments. Those electric cells can't function for defense, after all. Ensure that everyone keeps the space they need. This goes double if you have a pair of black ghosts in residence. But as long as no one's getting their fins stepped on, you can pair up any of these tank mates, angelfish, bishir, corridoras, discus, electric blue acara, geophagus, oscar, ropefish, severum and silver dollar. Obviously, that leaves out smaller fish. Not because black ghost knife fish will turn into bullies, but they will decide those little fish are snacks. For instance, guppies make lovely midnight snacks. A few aquarists have managed to keep some community species, such as celestial pearl danios or neon tetras, with their black ghost knife fish. But only while their predator was a juvenile. Once it outgrew the tank mates, they became its food. Along the same lines, you don't want to set up a mixed aquarium. Shrimp and snails are part of a black ghost's natural diet. And those invertebrates are easy to find with electroreception. In no time at all, you'll find yourself with a fish-only tank. The ideal diet for black ghost knife fish is very similar to what they eat in their natural habitat. Unlike some other species, these fish tend to be very resistant to transitioning over to flake or pellet foods. Because of this, we prefer to give them what they want. From what we've observed, the black ghost knife fish that have lived the longest have been fed with a more protein-rich and natural diet. Any of the go-to live or frozen foods will work. Bloodworms, prawns, brine shrimp, and tube effects are used by owners regularly. Since these fish are nocturnal you'll need to work around their sleep cycle. The easiest way to do this is by feeding them once a day, and doing it in the evening or night. Early on in your ownership, it's crucial to make sure you're not overfeeding them. If they can't eat all the food you gave them in a couple of minutes, reduce the quantity. Overfeeding will not only impact their health directly, but it will result in extra waste in their water. Breeding these fish is something we don't recommend due to the lack of information that's available on the process. There are so many conflicting methods that have been tried that it's hard to tell what works and what doesn't. Unlike some of the other guides on the internet that are fine passing along general best practices and hoping for the best, we believe it's be a disservice to these fish to encourage owners to breed them without a reliable course of action. Black ghost knife fish care is a very rewarding process if you're up to the challenge. It never gets old watching these fish swim around the aquarium. Now that you have a better understanding of what kind of effort is required if you want to own this species, it's time for you to decide if they're right for you. We always encourage potential owners to be as honest with themselves as possible when doing this. The worst thing you can do is purchase a fish you're not prepared to care for. If you're on the fence and have any questions about black ghost knife fish let us know. It's our mission to encourage and help as many informed aquarists as possible.